day all and welcome back to our channel so in this video let's discuss about repair management module in odo 14 community so the repair module helps to address the tear and wear of products due to long term storage in the inventory so this module also helps to carry out repair services to products with a warranty and supports a user to repair or replace a product that is part partially or fully damaged Okay, so after installing repair module, you can find that here. So it not only offers service to customers who bought the product, but also can be used by manufacturers. So this helps to assure customer satisfaction as repair tickets can be addressed quickly. So it uh, triggers a work of broken or damaged products and carries out the fixing and redesigning of the product. So for any user, this module turns beneficial as it helps to collect the information on damaged product and supports tracking of product at all stages of repair. So here we can see the repair orders, already created repair orders. Uh, so you can create new order, just click create button. And here we can set the repair service. Okay, so if we want to replace, like, then we can set the product to repair. So I'm setting table. Then we can set the number, total quantity to repair. Then, as we have provided a lot of serial number uh, for this product, we have to set that. Then uh, we can set customer for which the order created. Uh, you're creating and then we can set location uh, vanity expiration or invoice method uh, that is if you want to create invoice you can uh, create before repair or after repair okay so when you select that here we can set the invoice address okay now let's add the parts to be repaired so here we can add or remove so i want to add Table leg and we can see source destination location. So here we can see destination location is production location, and we can set the quantity. And after that, we can confirm order, confirm repair. Okay, so we have to set a serial number for this table leg. Okay, after confirmation, you can start repair or cancel repair. So, you can start repairing this product. So, now we can see it is under repair and after repairing, you can just click on end repair. Okay, so now we can see uh, repairing is done. And as we have set uh, invoice method as after repair, we can create invoice from here for customer after repairing this mm, table okay so you can see now the status is to be invoiced and now from here we can create invoice so you can see for this product uh, like that is table you can see one invoice is created So can see the total amount and from here we can confirm the invoice and register the payment. So that's how we create repair order and repair products and create invoices for customers. So now we can see one product is repaired and from here we can also set repair order tags, repairs order tags. So we can create tags and assign for repair orders. Then we can also see reporting for our repairs. 
so here we have a repair analysis report so you can see repair orders uh, with different measures like total untaxed amount taxes then by product quantity and we can filter this report by confirmed uh, repair orders or quotations then ready to repair invoice repairs so if you choose invoice repair you can see result then here we can group this uh, by customer status warranty expiration and uh, so this is a graph view and we can also find list view then kanban view then pivot view to repair repair orders okay so you can see we have one invoice repair order that is invoice for azure interior you can see count one for product table okay so that's how we create repair orders and create invoices for customers in odo 14 repair management Thank you.